I know that voice. The voiceover in this clip is one of our very own reactors. What? No way. <laughs> I got to hear this. I never would have guessed that. Do you ever find yourself listening to something animated and think, hey, I know that voice? Yes, and it drives me nuts because I can never pinpoint it, ever. And most likely, you know, you know the person, but you can't name the person. <laughs> which is probably what's gonna happen. Well, we're gonna be showing you 10 clips from animated commercials, TV shows, and movies, and we'll tell you which character to listen out for. You'll have to figure out which celebrity voiced that role. Okay, this should be interesting. <laughs> See, that's hard. My celebrity knowledge has never been great. I do voiceover as my, my main career, and I have a lot of friends that know people, friend and connections, so it's like, oh, this guy did this, so this is totally my my area. This might be unfair, actually. First, we have a scene from Family Guy. Okay. What about you, Meg? What you do this week? What, so you can make fun of me? No, Meg, I'm I know that voice. I'm interested in what my daughter did this Family week. Guy is such Your a great show. You're not gonna make fun of me. I feel like I know who it is. Can you figure out who is voicing Meg Griffin? Oh shoot, I don't know. It's not coming to me. Oh my god, it's at the tip of my tongue. Oh, uh, Mila Kunis. That is Mila Kunis. Is it Mila Kunis? That was Mila Kunis? It's Mila Kunis. Before her it was, um, Lacey Chabert. So the celebrity voicing the role of Meg Griffin is actually Mila Kunis. Oh, yes! I would have never gotten her name though. Last night. I just sat through a Mila Kunis film, and now here we are the following morning, and I'm missing a point. I'm mad at myself, oh my gosh. The next clip comes from The Jungle Book. Can you tell who is voicing the role of Shere Khan? Okay. Everyone comes to Peace Rock, so many smiles to catch up on. But, uh... I think I know this one. I know that voice. I've never seen this movie, but I kind of have a guess who it might be. There's this strange odor today. This is a great movie, by the way, if you haven't seen The Jungle Book. The voice is super familiar, and I'm, I was running through like the cast members that I remember that were in this movie, and I'm blanking on who was the tiger. In shows, I can never tell if it's a real accent or a fake one. I'm always so duped, so I don't know. I think it's Idris Elba. I could be totally wrong, though. It's Idris Elba? Idris Elba, of course. That, my friends, is Idris Elba. In Jon Favreau's 2016 remake of the film, the character of Shere Khan was voiced by Idris Elba. Yes, okay, woo! I was gonna guess that, and I was like, I don't know if it is. <laughs> Moving on to the next clip, we've got Phil from Hercules. Oh, okay, I have to really go back for this one. I'm too old to get mixed up in this stuff again. But if I don't become a true hero, <laughs> I'll never be able I'm, to I'm pretty sure I got it. Zeus. Hold it. Zeus is your father, right? Uh -huh. <coughs> I haven't watched this movie in so long. <laughs> Mr. Lightning Bolts, read me a book, would you, Dad? Dad? <laughs> Once upon a time. Phil is a whole mood. It's the truth. Police. That's the first time I've seen a clip from that movie since I was like five. It sounds familiar. So I know I've heard this person's voice before. Elijah Wood. Is that Danny DeVito? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say Danny DeVito. That's Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. That is Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. You got it, okay. Danny DeVito. <laughs> you can just tell too, it kinda like looks like him. That was Danny DeVito? That did not sound or remotely look. Wait, I, I, was, I was looking at the, the, the the, the Hercules, right? Not the little dude? No, it's the little dude, Phil. I thought I was focusing on Hercules. See, if I knew it was the little guy, I would've been like, oh, that's definitely Danny DeVito. The next one, which comes from the princess and the frog, who voiced Tiana's mother, Eudora? The ugly little frog looked up with his sad round eyes and pleaded, Oh, please, dear princess. This movie's so only good. A for, only a kiss I know who this is. Break this terrible spell that was inflicted on me by a wicked witch. Here comes my favorite part. This is my favorite part, too. She stooped down, picked up the slippery creature, leaned forward, raised oh my him gosh. to her lips, and kissed that little frog. <laughs> Wow, she was really acting. I really do not know. I don't think I have a guess for this one. Is it Jasmine Guy? My brain was just like Viola Davis, but I know that's not right. Is it Oprah Winfrey? That was Oprah Winfrey. That is the queen of all media, 
Oprah G. Winfrey. This role was originally rumored to be played by Angela Bassett, but ended up going to Oprah Winfrey. Was that Oprah Winfrey? That was Oprah? That's the thing with cartoons is that like, people can change their voices, they can play a thousand different characters, so you don't know. If you don't know Oprah like I know Oprah, that's gonna throw someone off. Cause the inflection, like she was really in that booth acting. We've got another one that just might blow your mind. In the Bernstein Bears, who was the voice of Brother Bear? The Bernstein Bears? Oh my God, they just dug up a memory from my subconscious. What are you doing with the paper? Using it to keep the pain off my desk. Oh my gosh, that voice asked. sounds so familiar. When this family reads the for sale section. Well, I'm reading it now. Huh. It's always harder when it's a kid's voice because you have to think of it as maturing. I don't have any guess for this one. I don't. Mm -mm. Oh, I do not have a guess for that, no. Consider me stumped. I have no idea. What was that, Jason Bateman as a kid? I don't know. Jonathan Taylor Thomas. I have no idea who that is. I just can't pinpoint it. Drew Barrymore? I mean, I don't know. Along with voicing characters in a variety of shows such as Brace Face and Roly Poly Oli, the actor in the role of Brother Bear was actually Michael Sarah. What? Wow, I didn't even know he like did stuff like that when he was younger. That's crazy. Oh, I think I heard that actually, and I thought it was a, like a rumor. I thought it was a lie. <laughs> as soon as you said roly poly oly, I knew exactly who it was. Oh no. This one is actually an M&M's commercial. Can you tell who the yellow M&M is? Okay. That's the, that's the goofy one. Crispy M&M's are back. What are you doing? You said to tell our fans crispy M&M's are back. I have no clue. Did you mean this fan? No. What about that one? Hi. There's a fan in the break room. It's oh, that so guy. They're back. Who played the assistant coach on that one show? I don't know. I know, but I don't know. I don't know. Who is that? You got me. God, I don't know. Jeff Goldblum. I have no freaking clue. That's a hard one. I'm guessing John Goodman. I don't know the actor's name, but he sounds like the guy who played uh, Ray's brother in Everybody Loves Raymond. I know the red m and It's Billy West from Futurama. I don't know who that is. This is J.K. Simmons. Oh. Yeah, no, I would have never guessed that. J.K. Simmons, of course. He's a yellow m and Would have never thunk it. Not in a million years. After he won the Oscar for his role in the movie Whiplash, the Eminem Candy Company commissioned a portrait of him made out of Eminem. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Dang, imagine being that for Eminem. He probably gets free Eminems for life. He looks so much like him. It's like, I should have known, but I don't really look at people and say, you know, you'd look great as an Eminem. For this next one, we've got a throwback. It's a Flash Beagle, Charlie Brown, from the Peanuts franchise. Can you tell who is voice acting the role of Sally Brown? Oh man, you're boasting out some deep cuts here. Hail, Snoopy. For show and tell today, I have brought a dog. What's so great about that? He doesn't do anything. Kids are so rude. Don't there. disrespect my dog. He looks like he's asleep. <laughs> a dog is not only man's best friend but he's also a protector. It's just the, like, it's so familiar, but then you just don't know who the the person is. Is it Drew Barrymore? I have no idea, and I know whoever it is. I apologize to you personally for not recognizing your voice because I loved you as a child watching Peanuts. Ah, uh, my brain's broken, I don't know. Who do I think that is? Do I have a guess? No. No idea, Jennifer Lawrence. Kate Hudson, <laughs> I don't know. Wait, I think I heard a rumor about who this was, but again, I thought it was fake. Was it Fergie? Although 24 actresses have played the character of Sally Brown over the years, this version is voiced by Fergie. Fergie? I never would have guessed that. What? I gotta hear that again. Are you serious right now? So she played Sally in two TV specials in the 1984 season of the Charlie Brown and Snoopy show. I would have never guessed that because the Fergie that I know is Fergalicious definition make them boys go crazy? Like, I know that Fergie. Next up is a scene from Toy Story 4. Pay attention to the voice of Duke Kaboom. I already know this one. This movie, oh my God, it was so good. Look who jumped 40 school buses and landed back into my life. Hi, Duke. Who's the cowboy? I'm trying to think. Because I also remember watching the behind the scenes footage of him doing the voice and talking with the director of like how they wanted to, what kind of sounds or expression they wanted to come through the voice. 
And he's iconic too. Like, look what he's doing right now. It's so funny. Yeah. What brings you back, people? Okay, just by it's not super obvious, but I think I have a guess. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I thought I had it and he kept talking and I lost it. I don't know. I feel like I remember reading Who Played like during the credits and stuff, but I don't remember this at all. I'm gonna go with Ashton Kutcher. Keanu, of course. He had a crazy 2019. I mean, it's like this keanu -sance. That is Keanu Reeves. This was actually Keanu Reeves. Oh. Oh, I would have never guessed Keanu. And after John Wick, he's just getting work, 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 work. So, I already knew it was Keanu Reeves, right off the bat. Here's a scene from My Little Pony the Movie, who is the voice of Tempest Shadow, who you can probably tell is the villain here. <laughs> With a name like that, she better be. Tempest, is it? How may we help you? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. How about we start with your complete and total surrender? Hmm. I saw this movie. My friend dragged me to it. Here's the deal, ladies. I need your magic. Give it up nicely, please. Or we make it difficult. For everyone. His voice is and definitely familiar. Cower before Whoever's you? doing... There's one of you. The voice There's is really good at being a villain. But I have no idea who that I is. I was hoping you'd choose difficult. I know that voice. Shoot. Christina Applegate. I don't know. That one was hard. I have no idea though who it is. No clue. I know my sister wanted to watch it and I absolutely refused. <laughs> you got me. Angelina Jolie. I'm gonna guess Sharon Stone. Ooh, is that Emily Blunt? Along with the character Fizzle Pop Berry Twist in this movie, Tempest Shadow was voiced by Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt? What is Emily Blunt doing voicing an animated unicorn situation? Just imagining her doing the, the voices. Because yeah, normally she's British, but I don't know. She's done enough American roles where I'm like, I think this might be. I mean, I, I said that with a lot of confidence. I, I really wasn't sure. But I nailed it. Yes. Our last one comes from The Incredibles 2, and we have a surprise. The role of the news anchor was actually played by one of our very own reactors. What? No way. <laughs> I got to hear this. The Incredibus, the supercar once driven by superhero, Mr. Incredible. When it comes to decision making, people have more trust in a monkey throwing darts than Congress. I made it! <laughs> I have no idea who it is. Yeah, I don't know. And it's really bugging me that it's a reactor because it makes me feel like I should know. I don't know. The first person I can think of is Ashby. No man that I've been featured in a video with has a voice that's seasoned. Um, this is hard. That means they're really good at what they do. I'm going to say Danny. Is that Ted? It's me! <laughs> The voice of the news anchor has also had voice acting roles in Kong, Skull Island, The Fate of the Furious, and Lego The Incredibles, just to name a few. The person is our very own reactor, Ted Evans. Oh my god, duh, he's a vo oh my god. How did I not get that? Like, I knew that he was doing, oh my god, I'm so stupid. Oh, Ted, you're a wonderful human being. I appreciate you so much, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wow, that's neat to know. Okay, I'm gonna have to get his autograph next time I see him. Just doing the part and going to Disney Studios and then like being in a room with all of these crazy voice actors, uh, like Fred Tattashore and uh, Brad Bird is there directing us and realizing he's the voice of the, you know, little Edna and just being in this crazy nice studio where all these movies have been shot was like, this is insane. And then it was over really fast, but then seeing yourself and then being able to look back at the movie, that's a pretty big deal. And then they put our names in the credits. So like, you know, how many people could say they've been in a Pixar movie? Not a ton, but I am one of them. Thanks for watching us find the celebrity voice on the React channel. Subscribe and hit that bell for more shows like this. How did you do in this challenge? Let us know in the comments. Bye guys. Hey guys, React producer Lindsay here. If you like this video, then make sure you come chat with FBE on Twitter. We do tons of Q&As and you can tell us what you think about this video. See you later.